Hi, it's Jess here from nigess.co.uk. Thank you for joining me today. So I'm going to bring you a little, a little Christmas treat. I know it's June, but there we go. A little Christmas treat. I do a blog hop every month on um, the theme of Christmas. And I'm a bit challenged at the moment because I don't have any Christmas um, set. So I've got nothing with any Christmas um, sentiments in. So I've used non-Christmas paper here. But I have got Season's Greetings on there. I have slightly cheated. I'm using Season's Greetings here from Penguin Place. And that's because... Um, the mini, the Stampin' Up July to December mini goes live on the 1st of July. So it's only a few weeks away and um, this is coming back. So, um, yeah, so it's a bit of a preview uh, of, of, of or a reminder that this is coming back. So, um, yeah, so that's why I've decided I'm going to use it. So these lovely little nugget chocolates are... Are these? Well, I'm saying lovely. No idea. I've not tasted them. So I got these three in a swap at a recent Pootler's team event. And the lovely Tina um, from Tina Creative Box, uh, she, that's her blog, she did a swap and it had three of these in it. So um, I thought, oh, they remind me a little bit of Hershey Nuggets. And I've done a lot of crafting with Hershey Nuggets. And I thought, oh, I could do something nice with these. Um, so not eat them. That's been fairly hard to not eat them. I might eat one of them now after I make this. Um, and then I'll have two for other projects. And um, yeah, so we can't get these in the UK. Um, and um, we can't get Hershey Nuggets in the UK either. But I got some from the States when I was there. So the ones that I use are a bit old. So anyway, let's stop waffling and get on. So the paper I am using is, um, I've, just, I've just dropped loads of bits on the floor. What am I like? So it's from this DSP, which is a retiring. Um, this is the one with all the daffodils. Um, I can't remember what they're called, the DSP now. Um, it might be painted flowers, something like that. I can't remember. This is the sheet I like the most. Um, so I've used nearly all of that. But I thought, it's got red in it. If it's got red in it, we can use it for Christmas. That's just, that's, that's, that's what I reckon. Now, have I already cut a slit off this that I can use, or have I actually used it? Did I cut it off and use it? I must have done. Can't see it. We'll cut another one. So we want a strip that's three quarters of an inch wide. I'm going to go down this side where it's darker, I think. So three quarters of an inch. I'm going to go three quarters of an inch on that side because it's easier to measure. So three quarters of an inch. And I'm going to come down three and a half inches. Now, with Hershey Nugget wraps, if I remember rightly, it's a long time since I made one. It's usually three by one. Is um, what um, what we cut there. So slightly different to a Hershey Nugget wrap, but still not an awful lot of DSP. There we go. That's it. Imagine how many you can get out of that. I'm really not going to do the maths. But you can get a lot. So that's that bit done. So I'm going to put the end to the end. And you might think, oh, that's quite, you're showing quite a bit there. But it gets narrower towards the top. So the top is narrower than the bottom. So that's simply why. So putting that down on my desk and I'm going to pinch that there have it come round pinch it at the bottom okay and then what I'm going to do 
is that's going to go right to the end. I'm going to give it a bit of a fold and a burnish there. So we've got a nice crisp fold. So I am going to put a bit of glue on the end of that strip and a bit of glue on the end of that strip. And that's how I'm going to glue them together. So on there and on there. So underside on that one, top side on that one. And let's go, let's go around, put that crease on the edge there, that crease on the edge there. And got a bit of wiggle there, went slightly out, line them up straight. There we go. So that is the wrap bit done, simple as. And then we're going to decorate. So I have used the little tag here from the Meadow Dyes. Very useful little tag, I do like it. And I am gonna cut from my tiny little scraps. That's over there, is it thinking? Where has it gone? So I've got my gold scraps here. And I've got my copper scraps here. Let me get it out of that, just pull that bit there. There we go. And I'm going to do one in copper and one, I mean, copper, it's not quite the same colour as what's in this, but it's, it's close enough, I thought. So I'm going to cut one of them out of that one. Might have to actually go and get another bit and that one out of that one. So I'm going to cut those two out. And then this is Poppy Parade. So got me Poppy Parade here. Probably got the bit where I did. Where I did the other one. Then again, maybe I do. Do it on that one. So I need Versa Mark, and I'm going to use going to use some copper in bossing powder. So I've got my copper there. Not got masses of it left. Get my Versamark. I've got got my little stamp mounted. Little season's greetings there. And then The copper over it. I've had this copper forever. There we go. Season's greetings on there. I had this for when when it first came out. So this is not. So now you have to buy your your metallic gossip powder in a. We we sell the embossing powder in. Um, I'm going to bring this to the end of my desk. Um, in packs of, you've got the basics, which is the white, the black, the clear, and then you've got the metallics, which is the silver, gold, and the copper. Oh, I think, yeah, I did say black, didn't I? It's in the other. Anyway, that one is from the old one, which I've had forever. They do last an awful long time. Right, I'm going to heat up my heat gun. Get it hot. And then see the magic. There we have it. 
So that is my greeting done. So I'm going to get those three tags cut out. So that's all the tags uh, cut out. And I, I remembered actually from doing it um, that, I don't know if you can see there, that it's a, re it's a really tight fit, just about fits the greasing um, on the tag. But you have to make sure that the S's are right close to the edge there. And I didn't on this one, so we've cut a little bit off there. So I had to do it again. Um, with the S right there, you can just get the G and the S in that side. Just need that centre poking out. And you don't lose enough to not be able to read it. So I just wanted to sort of show you that when you're lining up your tag, now the cut line on the die is really quite close to the edge. So when you're putting it, if you see where the S's is, S's is, the S's are, just go on just past it and then you'll be able to see when you look through to line that up so you've got equi distance there so that the, the gap's right through the middle and there's a little bit of letters missing there and a little bit of letters missing there. And that should be it um, in the right position for cutting. Okay, so we've got our, our three tags. And I sort of layered them, matched up the, matched up the circles, the circles, the holes. I matched up those corners like so. And then this one could then come out like that that was that was how how we did it so a little spot of glue on there just stick this to that don't matter if there's a bit of oozing because that's all going to get covered up some glue on the back here to hold it in place. Going to get my glasses on now. So can you see how that is done? And then I'm sort of putting it so that's kind of on a line. If I put it there on the grid mat like so can see the line through it and then I can put that over and it's coming that way and that is how I sort of stuck it down like that and then I got a bit of this um, Simply Elegant trim got a bit of gold And I folded it in half. I've probably stuck that to grid mat, haven't I? No, nope, we're all good. We're all good. So I just fed it from the back to the front. There we go. Pulled the tails through. Like so. Far longer than I need them. But you actually do need a little bit of length on it to be able to um, actually tie. So doing a knot. There we 
we go. I'm wondering if I could do a bow. I didn't on the other one. But as I've got quite a bit, I'm wondering if I can manage a bow. It's really difficult, this trim. Look at the tweezers. Pull it through. No, that's not worked, Jez. Not worked at all. We'll leave it at the knot. We'll leave it at the knot. <laughs> go with what you did in the first place, Jess. There we go. Trim. Trim. And then make sure you've got, so that's the back, that's the front. And then we're just going to get a dimensional. On there. And stick that on there. And nice little Christmas table favour. Or if you do any sort of Christmas gathering, maybe you're a teacher and you like to give your students a little something at Christmas. Nice little treat that. And you can adapt it for other little nuggets like this. It'll work with Hershey's. I'm sure you just have to change the size of your wrap. It's about one inch by three, isn't it, for a Hershey? So there we go. Hope you like that. All the details will be over at nigez.co.uk and down below I'll link to my shop where you can buy um, these things. Obviously the stamp set's not available yet until the 1st of July, but the um, everything else is. Okay, see you all again soon. Bye for now.